Yo, you don't think people like how much you think it costs for like a, somebody to do ad libs? Cost for somebody to don't the person do ad libs? Nah, but like don't they have like what if like some like I will be like that ad lib person? It's probably like a couple thousand. A thousand nah, dollars? Nah, probably a thousand or a what couple that? hundred. All right, I, like for five hundred, I'll do this. <laughs> for, I can't. Yeah, I can't do, roll my R's. I think. I think you know how um there be like singing ad libs. I think that's probably a couple more. Like what? Like how Rod Wave be? Oh no, no, I know you mean like how the girls be in the background. Exactly. Like you ever watch? You ever watch some um, rhythm and flow? Yeah. They be like, yeah. it's hard out here. Is that, does that count as an ad lib or is that like the the chorus? It's all, wait, sing it again. It's like it's hard out here for, for a pimp. pimp. Hey, hey, you gotta get, get the, the money, money for the rent. rent. Uh, that's just a lie. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I could do that my damn so. That's what I'm saying, I bro. Could do that myself. For a thousand dollars just to sing? Hell yeah. Shoot. I'm sing, I'm gonna sing my heart out. You know I could sing. Let me hear something. Let me hear something. <laughs> 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 get nervous. Get nervous. <laughs> damn, there's. Put me it's on the spot. It's hard out here for a pimp. For a pimp. And he's gotta get his money for the rent. For the rent. <laughs> <laughs> no, sing a Rod Wave song. Sing a Rod Wave song. I'll which be one? Which one? To November, go and market. No, no, I sing that one already. Uh, what, what was that called? He said, "What's love to a broken heart? No love gotta know your part." I love right. I got material. She want a Birkin. Yes, sir. Time she was hurt. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna do too much. You feel me? Nah, they gotta pay me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't paying you. This is free ad libs, yeah, by the way. Free, yeah, free ad libs. Bro, bro, if y'all need y'all ad libs, hit us up, bro. Yes, sir. Five hundred. No, no, no. Five hundred for a session. Five hundred for a session. Not per ad lib. Seven hundred for me. You Why? Know? Cause I could really sing. You know. The only reason they do is put your voice deep. Nah. Like. Like somebody like uh, Dusty could put you in the background. Dusty Lacone, bro. That was Locane. Locone. No, it's not. No, Locane. It's it is Locane. Locane. Yeah, Dusty. Wow, I said Locone, huh? <laughs> nah, I folded. Nah, bro, I could do that. Like, be like, what? What do we be doing though? I could mm-hmm. be like, yo, yo, yo. Like, what? <laughs> what? Wait, how do you do the do the roll? the gr- I can't do that. Gr- gr- <laughs> bow. Gr- bow. <laughs> Oh. I'm not gonna lie, you do sound like them. I do sound that like them. Tough. That was I tough. That was tough. That was tough. You know, a couple hundred. I'll do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but yo, it. yo, 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 welcome back to another No Regulars podcast. If you're new, welcome. And I don't know, what was I gonna say? I just messed up my intro. I'm just nigga, bro. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. All right, I'll take over, bro. Nah, yeah, I get Niggas the who don't here. know me, Yo, bro. whoa, 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 You got it, you got he it. You got it, my fault, bro. Yo, I'm going to get my, my guys to jump you, bro. Who's, who's my, the guys? My uh, gangsters. I'm not I'm not your gangster. Nah, you, you the members, bro. I'm I'm one of them. So you're going to let your gangster, your gangsters jump your members? Nah, I'm That's just saying, bullshit. like... I'm just saying, but like, if anybody test me, I got my guys with me. Okay, I heard you. The guys in the comments. Shout out to y'all, bro. All y'all in the comments. 11,000 strong. That's yeah, lit. 11, yeah, 11,000. That's but lit. Shout out TikTok, you know what I'm Shout saying? out to TikTok, shout man. Out Follow TikTok us game. at No Regulars on TikTok, bro. We going up, man. 11,000, yo. The best, podcast. 11, the best yo. podcast on TikTok. Yo, let's do a little snap. We had 11,000, bro. 11,000. Who would have thought? In two months. Two, two and a half months, 11,000, bro. Yeah, man. That guy, my boy Derek's been putting in work. He ain't get, getting no sleep. You know, he yeah, don't I be know, playing bro. the game no more. But, you know, he, you know, he's trying. He getting to the bag. So, it's like, I might as well, you know. Yeah. He be holding me, though. But it's hey, whatever. Bro, I'm just trying. Yeah. Just trying to get through. Fritz been on the game lately. But we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> but if y'all don't know, follow us at no Podcast on Instagram. Yo. Follow us on Spotify, No Regulars Podcast, or on Google Podcasts. I never Google knew. Google Podcasts. I didn't even know I was on Google Podcasts. I didn't even go live. So for my Android people, hit that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All love to y'all. Apple, uh, pack, Apple Podcast soon, though. Apple Podcast soon. You already know, bro. Soon. I paid that $20 subscription, so we in there. They Hell just yeah. verifying my thing, so you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And also, I be reading y'all comments, bro. So if y'all don't be afraid to send me something in the DM, send me like... 
put something in the comments, like a, a theory you want us to talk about, yep. some would you rather's you want us to talk about. Don't be afraid to send me nothing, people, because you know I'm easy to talk to, right? You, That's a I'm fact. Easy. you know what I'm saying? We That's e- a fact. we easy to talk to people. So whatever y'all want us to list, want us to talk about, let us know, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna look into it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all y'all that follow us and <laughs> comment, cause y'all mean. Y'all, y'all the real ones, you know what I'm saying? Real ass people. You no, know, we getting there. We on the way up, you know what I'm saying? No records. Only way. Only way but up. And if y'all don't know who's back, bro, if y'all can't even tell by the voice, my guy Fritz is back. Bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm Big back. OG. You feel me? Big OG episode three. You don't even remember your episode. It was two. Episode two? Yes. Episode two. I'm back, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga y'all didn't, you feel me? Y'all wanted me back, you know, I'm back, you feel me? I yeah, seen the comment section, y'all wanted me back. They he said, be bring, commenting his own They said, bring stuff. Fritz back. I was, I was, Darius had no choice, you know what I'm saying? This episode, you know, what episode is this now? 12. 12. Episode 12. Episode 12, you know? Took me a minute. Subscribe and post notifications and like, comment, all that stuff on YouTube. We're almost at 150 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? All that. But nah, you was about to, yo, y'all don't know, he was about to hold me today. Okay, I'm, I work. Okay. I work, I be, I be tired. I got homework also, and this guy dares want to talk about, oh, Collins bailed on me. Uh, Collins folded on me. Collins, if you're watching this, you, you a hoe. Ho. <laughs> definitely. I, you a hoe, Most bro. definitely, but it, because y'all you got this soon. nigga being, coming to me and shit. <laughs> Anyways. But this nigga with theirs want to uh, Collins build on me. I need I need somebody. I don't know who else to talk to. Get the fuck out of here. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to make as much excuses as I can. This nigga yeah, won't excuses. let up. This nigga won't let up. But, you know, I'm glad I'm here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about a lot of good <clears throat> stuff today, bro. I got a lot of things we got to talk better, about. better, bro. Come on, man. You know, man, we got... We got the scoop on everything, bro. I'm yeah, gonna get do. canceled one day by the government. That's, hey, man, I'm, Actually, I'm I'm gonna be right there with you, bro. I got you. They, the CIA gonna be busting through our door, the windows. It's over. They are gonna <laughs> get my. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, man. man, it is. No what point it is. About. I'm gonna bail you out, bro. You good, bro? Oh, you got bread like that? Bro, no, not even bread. I got <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you got that thing. <laughs> you got, <laughs> you got that thing. We're not gonna talk about it. though. You got that thing on you. You know, you niggas know. I know. DJ know. Nigga. I'm not gonna talk about it though. You know Yo. what I'm saying? <laughs> By the way, people, we be kidding about all this stuff. Don't think we gang members. We ain't we ain't in all that stuff. Fritz sound like he in the gang, but he really not. Like he he looking at the camera and nah. He uh, we don't I really do don't this. be throwing them Glocks and I busting them this. shots. I do That's this. Not us. I do you, this. Don't be saying that, bro, because there be people in New York. It's like nah. Then people in the Bronx is wildin', bro. It's like nah, I'm joking, guys. I'm <laughs> yeah. joking. I'm not about none of that. Bro, kids really are crazy, bro. Nah, that's a fact. Them people in the Bronx, bro, all them niggas D thing and all them niggas. I Yo, did you did, did you hear he got arrested <laughs> just now? Uh he's in Rikers Island. Damn, they sent them all the way to Rikers, bro? Yeah, he's in Rikers. I, wasn't it for like some <clears throat> he just had a gun or something? I think it was some it had to do something with that and K K got arrested too. I know, but for, he got, for gun he, he got, got out, out real quick though. But you know, is it just me or I thought D thing was like a dyke? No, I I've been thought he was a dyke. Like he sounded like a girl. He low key looked like a girl. Got no facial hair. Mm-hmm. So I was like, is this a dyke? And then it was like, nah, he a boy. Nah, I'm he like, a boy, bro. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. I hope he don't hear this. He murk my. <sighs> Come on, bro. What? You got you got niggas behind you, bro. Don't even try. Yeah, Don't no, I know. We straight. Try, we straight, bro. bro. All my regulars, you know. Oh my, no regulars. No we ain't regular, regular, bro. We not regular. Never regular. Either. Never. <laughs> At all. <laughs> but you said cousin Rikers, bro. I think he's in Rikers. I, I see. I seen that on uh, YouTube. Nigga, they they locked this nigga up, bro. Dang. Or they, yeah, yeah, they locked this. Nigga. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Jail don't look that bad. Huh? Like, like I'm not saying I want to go to jail. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Like, though? you ever see people in jail, bro? They look like they be having the time they like. Okay, but I think it's certain jails, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, because, a, like it has to do. Like, I see I, shit. Niggas got phones. Niggas. Yeah, they got TVs, well, bro. TVs. Like, yeah, but those are those type of jails. But I feel like if you if you in a like a low end jail, like where they don't give a fuck about you, you eating like slob, like. Not doing nothing like I don't think that's I don't know if that's a lot of jails though. Is that a lot of maybe prison? I mean, I don't think that's a lot of like jails or prisons to be honest. Because honestly, if you're in prison for like 50 years, ain't no way they're gonna keep giving you that's messed up. Like, come on, this man about to be in here till he die. Can you at least give him a TV and some 
and some a bag of ramen noodles. Yeah, but that's probably that's probably if you have like um good good um what's that behavior? good behavior. Yeah, right, they probably they probably, like if you, if you ask them, oh, can I get it? like can I get a TV? They probably they probably fuck with you or something. They probably give you a t you know a TV. Because I know you feel in me? some states they allow prisons to have t- uh, televisions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, um, shit. Um, what's that? What's that thing? Remember when uh ASAP went to went to prison? He went to prison. Remember? That was it. From what? From what? ASAP Rocky, right? He, he went, went to prison to, in, oh, in like know. Switzerland or something. I in don't Switzerland? Remember. You don't remember that? Mm-mm. Anyways, he went to he went to prison and shit, and shit. And I heard he was living lavish over there. I would think. I mean, Swedish prison don't sound terrible. Like okay. a Swiss prison, a Swiss. A what did Swiss? you say, bro? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Swiss <laughs> prison? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> a Swiss prison. prison. Yeah, there we I go. think it was Switzerland, bro. I said prison. But I think I think some some prisons, yeah, niggas is probably living lavish. Like how you have a phone, how you like Yeah, I think niggas just living lavish. Like I seen this one guy, he was like, Yo, when I was in prison, I was fly as hell. He had Jordans under the bed. But why? I don't know. Like I see Who are you who are you in prison? There's the, all niggas over there. Hey, bro, I don't know. The, the guards? Nigga, honestly? Oh, the prison. Yo, honestly, bro? The pr- Like, if if I ever went to prison, bro, for like um, X amount of times, uh, it's no females, bro, at all. That'll that'll probably be the worst thing out of everything. Oh, I was like, where you going with this? I was like, no, nah, nah, nah. I was like, what the hell is going nah, on? Nah, 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 bro. No females at all. That'd probably be the worst thing. Like, just a room full of niggas, though. Just oh. masculinity, like for what? Like no, <laughs> like no females, bro. No coochie, nigga. That's ass. You know, that's ass. I mean, you you might like if your girl come by on a visit, you might be able to pay the yeah, guard. Yeah, but that's that's yeah. See, that's nah. That's too much, bro. That's Cause, too much. Cause like I remember, like there's like this um lady that works at uh at my school. She's a janitor, and I was like talking to my guy Tony. He's a janitor too. So we was talking, and then she started talking about her her baby daddy in prison or in jail, and he's like, yeah, she he living a good time. You know, they get Air Maxes. They don't have no um prison Crocs no more. It's like Air Max 90s. Like all what? white Air Max 90s in jail. What? I was like, what the hell? I'm like, that don't sound that bad. I be seen, I be seen on TikTok. I'm not, this, yo, people, I'm not going to jail. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, but. I'm just saying. Yeah, but. In recent years, it sounded a lot worse. I right, so, no, it did. But, so you think if you did go to prison, like how you think you would survive? Like, you know, how you think you would, you know, adapt or like, <sighs> you know, how you think you would do? And you had like what, like five years? Five years? I think, I think I'll just be to myself, and like I'll I won't like try hard to make to friends. Me, yeah. Yeah, like right. I'll just let that come to me. Like I'll be like I'll probably be in like the chow hall, or whatever, and then somebody just come talking to me. I just say a funny joke, and he's my friend now. The thing is, low key, low key. There's barely any friends. Of pre- they're probably they might backdoor your ass, bro. What? Backdoor, like like you know, backstab you, bro. Oh, yo. There is. This yo, is prison, you're crazy. but you're not bad. But you're not bad at like. <laughs> Come bro, on, bro. There's. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, the, there's thinking about anything sexual, bro. <laughs> yo, I'm not talking. Yo, about that's how crazy, bro. Yeah, backdoor me, like you know, backstab you, like, like. You, you could just said crazy. that. But come you on, said bro. Backdoor. I thought you knew what backdoor meant. No. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna like trust them though. But like, like I feel like people in prison, they be like, they want to make friends, and they <clears> they go into the wrong gang, and then them gang be like, yo, now you got kill cuz. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing that. Yeah. And they be like, you got kill him, or we gonna kill you. I'm like, oh, dang. Okay, but you, remember, you got a girl. Yeah. So it's like, how you, like... There bro, is... I'm going to be mad to myself, bro. Like, I'm just going to not do nothing. Like, I, you know what? I might get street ca- street cred for playing basketball. I'm oh, be, I'm going to run the yard, tough. bro. Yo, but you know them niggas is hood niggas. I know. You know how hood niggas be getting mad when you getting buckets on them niggas. It's all good, bro. As long as they respect me as a basketball player. Nah, I you think know, you I might. Think... You, I think you. Nah, that, that would probably good. work. That's that would good. That's work. good. Oh, yeah, this nigga's nice. This nigga nice. They might bet on you and shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but if I lose, they bet, then they might. Oh beat yeah, they gonna whoop your ass. Yeah, there's so that, See, that's. that's hey. But thank God I ain't going to prison, bro. Not going. I ain't. I ain't doing nothing bad, bro. I don't know. Could you see me in prison? No. What the hell you do? I don't know. Fritz, you barely be outside. That's true. Like, there's no reason for you to go to prison, bro. Nah, but what if what if I really do some shit, you know? You, you plotting, bro? You, you straight? Nah, <laughs> like, but what if I get mad and just, like, hit a female type shit? Like like that, that NFL player? 
That nigga was maxing. Okay, let's talk about that nigga. That nigga's bugging, bro. <laughs> Yo. Because he really beat her ass. And the TV fell on the girl, bro. I was I felt bad when the TV fell on her. <laughs> but this is not funny. <laughs> we don't we don't acknowledge we don't We don't condone the, this at all. We don't but, condone domestic violence. Yeah, at all. That was crazy all, though. That girl got fucking thrown from that bed. <laughs> To the I'm TV. sorry, God. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm just laughing at what happened. I'm laughing at what happened, bro. And then that TV fell on her, bro. Why? Has she had? Not, she didn't have enough, bro. <laughs> I know. And he smacked the fuck out of Yo, her. Yo, did you see when she he choke slammed her, bro? He choke slammed and he said, "Bob poopy," and closed the door, <laughs> bro. That's od, bro. Like, nah, he he getting jail time for that. He going to prison. Bro, he needs to go to prison for life, bro. And he might need like a psychiatrist because that's max. I don't know so, how you get that mad at a person. First of all, you're you're that big, bro. He's big as hell. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing that? What do you think her father doing? Oh, plotting <laughs> on everything. If I was that, if I was that girl's father, bro, I'm plotting to kill that nigga, bro. Find that nigga, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm paying the mafia. To I go put that on everything, bro. That's if max. If someone put hands on my daughter, bro. Yeah, it's over. I, it's up. It's it's over. Over. I don't care how big you are. I'm going to try. I'm gonna try. Even if you ex football player, or not. You I gonna... don't care. I'm, you getting these hands, bro? You getting you getting stabbed? Anything, bro. Where they get That's the? I wonder up. where they got the film from. I mean, was that surveillance it's cameras? Probably, yeah, probably cameras inside the crib. That was crazy. Why do they have cameras inside the crib? But uh, I, don't I don't know, know. bro. But, that bro, was crazy. crazy, bro. Like, bro, when my was... girl sent me that, I was like, yo, I was so mad, bro. I really hate like domestic abuse type. It's shit. so bad. Like, they, like they, you can't like if you. Get that mad to a point to like put your hands on a female and just throw one to beat her ass, then that's you shouldn't be. Yeah, it wasn't like, even no little tap. Yeah, like, yo, that wasn't a tap. You freak like this he threw like a smack. The like the all right, the smack was crazy. The smack throwing was bad, bro. her into the TV. That was bad. Like, does he not know what domestic violence is? It's like to the like, what could she have done for you to? Go that crazy on That's that, what I'm you know? saying Like bro. I don't think There's anything that Even cheating it, Like Bro Like you, The bitch cheat Bro like Leave You feel me Like yeah, what, are, bro, what are you like, doing you, Like you do, Now you just ruined your life Now you just ruined Exactly That's it's over. Thing, he's not bro. He's not going He's not getting out Like if Imagine you're the lawyer On that case I'm gonna be like Ah <laughs> oh, shit <laughs> like, like I'm ah, really I'm, I'm really just like Gonna take it just because he gotta pay me regardless. You feel exactly. me? So like, it's like there's no information I could pull out my yeah, ass bro, to like, bro, help you. Bro. Caught, it's on 4K. Like, <laughs> like, like you did this. Like you look like there's like, no way around. What are you gonna it. say? What are you gonna say? <laughs> How could you possibly say like, <laughs> like, like he didn't mean to? Like what? <laughs> they're they're probably gonna um, you know how people be going straight to insanity. Yeah, Hedrick? they probably try to take the insanity case because uh, there's no, no. way. <laughs> <laughs> you could be like <laughs> he couldn't control himself or like like there's no way. It's what? impossible. It's Yo, impossible. He's going to jail. He I heard he was getting hit by like friends and shit. He's getting hit? Oh hit Hit. Yeah, like hit him by friends. Like he's, he's Is he on he got a warrant out for his arrest? Cause he better be. <laughs> like it's over him, bro. Like your life over. I'm sorry, buddy. You went from the They said <laughs> they said he was so bad because he used to play on the Jets. <laughs> yeah, bro. I seen that shit, bro. And th- these niggas, I feel like he had a, um, there was something about a Kia Optima and shit, and motherfuckers is clowning him for <laughs> driving a Kia, a Kia Optima. That's really what y'all worried about? Bro, I'm the internet is bro. crazy, bro. Yeah, that's oh crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, yo. But, yo, I don't think, I don't think the last episode, we didn't talk about sports, right? Not at all. I don't think all. we did. Not at all. Because, like. I haven't talked about college sports on this channel in a while, like college basketball. <clears throat> I'm not, I don't, you know, I don't really watch college basketball. I think college is better than the NBA, low key. I mean, I, I see where you could get that in, like, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like, <clears throat> I don't really watch college basketball just because I don't really know who's know. on each team. Yeah, not even, yeah, because like I watch more high school than like college. So mm-hmm. the, High schoolers who come to college, I, I know them. Oh, so you know, you know like who Chet Holmgren and all them stuff. I know right? all them niggas. Yeah, I like, know because I've been watching them since high school. But it's not like I'm gonna just sit there and watch a college game. I'm just, it's just I know what you mean. Yeah, like, but I want to talk about you know that guy from uh, Duke. His name's like Paolo. Yo, he's OD, bro. Yeah, I heard. I heard he was. He was. He was tough. Like this. This is like a strong take, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think he'll be better than Zion. Zion. Think, Wait, how tall is he? 
That boy, yo, he's 6'11", 250, bro. Really? 6'11", 250, handle the ball. He, Yo, all right, here's another take, bro. I think that man, Paulo Bancaro, whatever his name is, I think he's like, he's like Ben Simmons. But if Ben sure. Simmons had an off, like, instead of being a defensive player, he's an offensive player. Oh, so he's an offensive Ben Simmons. Offensive-minded Ben Simmons. Hmm. Like, he's bigger than... He's like he he like mellow on the block, bro. But the size of like Ben Simmons. How much? How much does he average? I think right he now? averaged like seventeen and like ten. He had a, he had a he had like a. You say he's six eleven? Six eleven, six ten, bro. Some KD two fifty, but he's not lanky like KD. Like, yeah, yeah, and but he's like he got a little bit of weight stocky, on him. But he's stocky, bro. Yeah, but like oh, so he's strong and he nah, bro, that's like tough. he got pro moves. Like he's like mellow, but six ten. Nah, that's tough. Like that's OD, bro. But why haven't people been talking about him since? Like, cause yo, is he, he is he a freshman? Yeah, he's a freshman right now. So what because was, they think that guy, what's his name, Chet Holmgren, will be better than him. I don't think so. I think Chet was like. See, the thing is, Chet Chet is seven foot, but like, he got no weight. I know he's like he's frail, bro. Like, what's he gonna do? Like he's really skinny. Like so, but hey, Giannis was skinny when he got into the league. I know, but if like Giannis, if Giannis, I mean, if Chet put some weight on him, because Chet got moves too, he got a little bit of dribble. I know, but like, like I don't think Chet going. You think he's gonna end up looking like Giannis, bro? No. Mm-mm. Giannis had that African blood in him, bro. Yeah, Giannis, he is, you <laughs> like know, he got the. I, I feel like no nah. Greek, yeah, but the, the Greek, best, bro. best. Stamp this, Imani Bates. Ah. That is that is that guy right there. You think he going like? He gonna be generational, bro. Yes, he's a generational talent. Yes, you know he got like his. He's like six nine with a six seven wingspan. <laughs> he got. They say he got T Rex arms, bro. That nigga Imani Bates is a bucket. All right, but he can't. He can't go into the league right now. Nah, he got. He's he seventeen, got, ain't he? Yeah, seventeen. He can't go to the league right now. He got a little. He needs a little bit more. You know, you feel me? Another year. Another year. We'll see you next year. But right now, I can't but, talk. Bro, that nigga's a bucket, bro. He is a bucket, but it's like, I don't know. Is that going to, like, I think that guy, Paulo, bro, he's, yo, he's like, See, the I don't know is, what though, The thing is, say, though, it, it, it looked good on paper. How is it going to transfer to the NBA? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, it depends on the team. Like, like I don't his, know. His body, his body, his, you know, you feel me? Like, yeah, but like it, I feel it looked like good on paper, but. What I think he could be, bro, like, I don't think he's going to be like a ball handler. He can't handle ball, but he's going to be like that guy that's. Like Jason Tatum esque, mm-hmm. some similar to Jason Tatum because you know Jason Tatum like six ten. Yeah. So, but he's bigger than Jason Tatum, like stronger than him. Mm-hmm. So he could probably go to the basket more, get more rebounds than Jason Tatum. I don't know if he's gonna be a defender like laterally, mm-hmm. but and he low key got like he's he got like a forty vert or forty inch vertical something like oh, that. Oh, so he could he could he, he could got jump. Ba- like he could jump, bro. But like he like he looks like a guard, but just bigger. bigger. Like you know in two K, mm-hmm. he looked like a two K player, bro. I'm not gonna lie. For real. Like, he moves like a yeah, guard. Yeah, 6'11", six, six, 250. He got crazy. the moves like Melo, bro, like on the block. And you don't even need to play the block. He can dribble face up all that. Three, shoot threes. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know what three-point percentage is, but he rebounds. Exactly. What? what it, uh, can he shoot for real? Yeah, it's not. It don't look broken. Okay. It's not like, I mean, Zion. Zion's just paint mashing, bro. Zion right now, I don't know, bro. The nigga's... Fat the nigga's fat, bro. Fat, bro. He need, he needs to get that shit. Um, and he had like a couple major injuries. I told you already, yeah. already. But you know he's three hundred and damn near three hundred fifteen pounds. I don't know what he did bro. Bro, I heard he was almost three. He's breaking like three hundred fifteen pounds, bro. How did he, he get, get that big, bro? By laying on his ass. Why is he doing that for? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't he, know. He like, what are you? He and he's in New Orleans. He ain't you know, on that he, damn gumbo, all that bro. Gumbo, all and that Popeye. Dip, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's damn shame, that shit bro. going all the way to his gut, bro. He was about to say his ass. I was going to say his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say his ass. But listen, bro, that nigga, he got to stop eating, bro. Because bro. J- Zion is really like that. And it, it sucks seeing like niggas like that just, you know, just go to weight. Honestly, bro, if Zion don't <laughs> get his weight down, I don't think he's going to be... Me bro, he's first of all, he's not gonna be able to jump. Did you see him warming up? Mm-hmm. He, he didn't even like look a, like he could run, bro. That looks nigga, so bad. Nigga looked bro. out of breath. I told like you, you not conditioned this, bro. at all. I told you, Zion. Wait, what'd you say? Zion. About Zion. Zion's overrated. Nah, nah, nah. That's crazy because you can't tell him he's overrated because of what happened. 
I mean, not, not, all right. what not, he was doing, what he no, okay. no, 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 no. Because now me, you're lying. Let me re, lying. let me rephrase it. Right. He's not overrated, but he's not what everybody's gonna say. Like he's not generational. Like you gonna be like I LeBron. don't think he's generational. Like he's not gonna lead a team to the finals. No, hell no, ain't no, no way. That's not him. He's like Blake but Griffin. He is Blake Griffin superstar 2.0. worthy? Yeah, like Blake Griffin was superstar worthy. Until he got that, you feel me? Yeah, look at Something him now. That you can't, you can't. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley was superstar. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's like generational. Where you gonna say you top not. ten? No, like that's crazy. Do you, all right, speaking on generational though, what do you think the next generational talent is gonna be? Mm, like, what type of player good, would it be? A type of player? Mm-hmm. Like, do you think it's gonna be like? Like a six eight stocky dude, like man amongst boys in high school, like LeBron, mm. or is he gonna be like some unicorn, like a seven foot point guard with a seven seven, like a seven foot three wingspan or something like I that? I think, I think that's that's the one. What seven foot point guard? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. That would be tough. A seven, yeah, seven foot point foot point guard is crazy. Like, and like I, that that could you know handle the rock mm-hmm. like like. Like KD type shit. Yeah, like, not even like even like better than that. Better bro. than KD. Like more fluid. Like mm-hmm. he just looks like he looks like he's he dribbles the ball like he's six two, but he's seven foot. Exactly. Like, and can shoot the rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, you know, the NBA right now, like everyone's shooting the ball. Yeah, it's positionless basketball. Yeah. So it's like so if you could shoot that rock, you seven foot, could dribble the ball like a point guard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you're gonna be that's it right there. Is it? That's it right there. I think so too. That's it right there. Either that <clears throat> or somebody that's like seven five. Seven, seven five f- could do what? Mobile. I no don't know. way. I don't I think don't, we're not I don't think we're gonna see that for a long time. Like seven five mobile. I don't think yo, every seven five person was just can't move. That's like what their I'm knees, saying. But you know maybe. I don't know. You did you um you do you know one of that uh he's in high school. He got that long ass neck. Uh, I know Rob Bob. I think yeah, I think that's like his name, Rob bro. Bob. That nigga. That, He's that in nigga. college right now. Really? Yeah, I think he plays at like a division, like a low, either <laughs> NAIA school or Division two. Yeah. See. Yeah. See that I that is bad. Like, like I feel bad for him. Like he can't. He, can't, he just looks like move. he hurts. Like the nigga runs like this. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't look like 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 he's stocky. He's stiff. Bro. So it's like if you if you got that guy, and you know he just and you got one that could dribble, mm-hmm. shoot. Nah, that's crazy. I like don't there's know. no way it's like he it. looked like he'd be hurting. See the thing is though, Bo Bo could have been that guy. Yeah, I mean he still could be if he just needs like I don't know why the Nuggets won't play him. Yeah, I don't know why neither. I don't it's know. It's probably something. Maybe he's doing. I don't know. You never but know, bro. There's something Bo, behind Bo, behind the scenes. Closed doors, exactly. So it's like I feel like Bo Bo could have been that that yo Bo Bo was going crazy in college. He, he was before he, he got, got injured. Like he you he, he was averaging like what twenty twenty one points twenty one ten like shoot, four blocks. shooting efficiently. Like, hey, he, he was like he that. Just, I know. But, but we'll know, never know, bro. Happens, bro. But yeah. low key, seven foot five. Seven foot five. Look, this, this is what I'm I saying. Think, seven I, five, two, f- 270. And just like mobile as hell. Run, can run the floor, catch lobs, dunk like Shaq. But seven five. You bro. never know, bro. Shaq was seven one, 300 with a 40 plus vert. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. But you know what I think? Seven five, though. Yes, but you know what I think will never be. That's even more like, impossible. Impossible than that. Somebody like Muggsy Bogues. Oh, that girl, like five. So how, nobody, how, how tall was he? Five three. Nobody five three is making it to, the making to the league that's anymore. A that's a fact. I don't think that would ever happen. I feel like again. that era is going like like. That was just luck. Yeah, I feel like that's it's done for. I don't feel like like if you're five three, bro. But you're nice at basketball, like really nice. At, you might be, you might be a gonna, globe trotter. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, to you. <laughs> you're still not gonna like. I'm you're sorry. Not get anything, I'm sorry, bro. my young, yeah, my that's young kings. Eric bro. Boykins, exact like, Earl they're, Boykins they're, they're was Earl five Boykins. five. Yeah, bro. You're not gonna see. You're not gonna see any of that. That's sad. Like, not anymore, bro. Muggsy Bogues was averaging like nine and seven. Yeah, he was getting buckets. Yeah, like he had a good career at yeah, five he three. Was good. He was good. Just imagine, I would be so like that's yeah, so how bad. How tall was Spud Webb? Five seven. But I mean, there's guys like five seven that's dunking like Spud Webb. But, but you're not gonna, not gonna get, see you're not gonna get to the league. The, yeah, to the league. But I mean, Spud Webb wasn't doing nothing that Muggsy was doing. Muggsy was five yeah, three Muggsy guarding was getting guys. Buckets. Yeah, Muggsy. He was, was guarding guys a foot taller than him. Yeah, that, nah, that's true. Like, that's true. Nobody in this world would be like nobody in the world. Oh, there will never be an NBA player that's just like Muggsy Bowles five three that's gonna be consistently in the league unless 
the NBA just wants to put him in the league for uh, media purposes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, Muggsy Bowes was like that. Now that I think about it, I never really, really realized until now that Muggsy Bowes was really like that. Like he wasn't that bad. Like he was, he was a good, good starting point guard, bro. Good. At five three. At five three. Yeah. Just so. that's crazy. That's he averaged like a like a steal and a half a game, bro. Yeah, he's tough. Dang, he's tough. bro. Free Muggsy, bro. He's did he did it when nobody else thought. Hard, <coughs> hard over height, bro. Hard, hard <laughs> over height. Say it. Hard. Yeah, I had a, I got a cough, bro. <laughs> no, bro. nah, you do got a. I've been seeing the comments. They be coming <laughs> crazy Niggas like for cough, me, bro. bro. Cough for me. Like, damn, bro. I like, be dying, bro. Like, do I really sound like I got a cough? Like, bro, I didn't know until now. I be hearing you, bro. You be saying. You this is just my like voice, you got, people. You got, you got dick in your throat. You gay? Get him. yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Nigga got dick in his throat. <laughs> my yeah, fault. Look, look at this childishness. <laughs> But, oh, another thing that happened along this uh, week was <coughs> R.I.P. to Young Dolph, bro. R.I.P., bro. That's, That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I fuck with Young Dolph, too. I fuck yeah, with the music. bro. See, the thing is, I, I wasn't really, I didn't listen to his music OD. Well, I was to someone with Key Glock. You know, I it. was with Key Glock. I, yeah. I, was, I was more, I'm a more of a Key Glock, you know, type of guy. But Young but Dolph was the Young Dolph was Key before Glock. Key, Glock, Key yeah. Glock. But, you know, that shit crazy, bro. Uh, I like, Niggas just be killing people for what? But he's just trying to get some cookies, bro. That's what I'm saying. He's just trying to get some cookies. Like, relax. Niggas, niggas, niggas just be shooting anywhere, bro. Bro, it's what? crazy because like if you a street man, if you a street nigga, bro, like and you become rich and famous, you don't the go streets, back. Don't go back to your own place. Like, bro. just don't go back. Be don't like Chief back. Keith, bro. Don't yeah. Be like Chief Keith with the, the hills, with the white in the hills with the white people. Mm-hmm. Like, don't go back to Shire. Don't go back, bro. Like, like it's not tough. I'm sorry. Like, like I it might like no. That shit crazy, bro. Because <laughs> like, because the people that are like people who saw you broke, and you know now you got money. Now you got money. They get they envious. On you. They, yeah, they, 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 they become on you, envious. Bro. They become jealous, and you know they they're like, and shit. Whatever you did to them, you feel me? When you were broke, you rich now. They get like, damn, that nigga, that nigga rich. Mm-hmm. That nigga rich, and they still gonna have. They gonna have a bigger grudge on you. You feel me? So it's like, so it's like they gonna catch you like, and, and you know they got nothing to live for. Mm-hmm. They, they don't give a fuck. So it's like. They, they, so it's like, yo, you, we, we, we might as well do this. That's I hope, I hope they find out who did it. Cause if uh, not, I heard three people got uh, arrested. Was it Soldier Boy? <laughs> Soldier Boy, nah. He said Soldier Boy like, killed Young Dolph, bro. Bro, you, I don't believe that. I don't believe it either. But I don't believe so that funny. because I don't even think the so, uh, Soldier. Why Soldier Boy? Yeah, why Soldier Boy? Why you put out Soldier Boy in there? Like out of everybody, I feel like that's just some type of troll type shit, bro. It always is, bro. Because Soldier Boy, bro, nah. But you know what they said about like the like uh, a random conspiracy about that is? What they said already conspiracy theories? All right, whatever. The internet's crazy. Oh, do you know? I seen one. Was it some about the ring? Nah. What was the one you was talking about? There, there was uh, because um uh, they have they both have this um pop smoke uh mo three. King Von and Young Dolph, like they got a picture of that um star ring type shit. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. They all got a picture of that, and they all died. And they all died like damn near the same way, you know, straight gun. You feel me? I'm That's, dead ass. That like go look, go look that up. Like, it, you think that like, means something? I don't know, bro. But that niggas talk about yo, they saw they sold they sold for 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 a couple you know minutes of fame or something like that, but. Bro, that star ring, that star ring is crazy because what, they all they got the same type of ring, bro. What I what I heard was like the one I heard was like, like you know they all signed to like Empire Records or something like yeah. that. So like the la- the other people that signed was like King Von, mm-hmm. uh, Mo Three, <clears throat> XX, yeah. uh, wasn't it Malia? They was all in Empire, and it was like. They all I think they all like died. No, not Aaliyah's was random, yeah, but it was yeah, like yeah. Mo Three. Uh, King Von, they all died, and um, Young Dolph, they all died in like November. Oh, what the fuck, for real? Yeah, and they said like maybe that ties in with some stuff about whatever Empire, Empire whatever Empire is doing, because you know they Killing be off the artists. I don't know, bro. You know they be saying the music industry is crazy and nobody knows about it. Bro, the music industry, bro. I know they got some shit going on in that. Bitch. I don't know. Like I don't know about that whole selling your soul thing. I Me think neither. that's a stretch. I don't think I don't think that uh, yeah, when I heard about it I was like but but it is weird how they have they all have the same ring, bro. That is I was just like, "Whoa, that's whoa, That is kind of creepy, weird. but I just thought it was just like a fashion statement. That star ring? Yeah, I just thought it was. I thought don't Jay Crit, no, nah, he don't have Oh no, he just has a regular pinky ring. 
Bro, that's it. it has to be a star, my boy. I don't know, bro. I was I was talking about the Illuminati the other day. I forgot who I was talking to. It was either Jay or somebody else, but they said like I don't know about the Illuminati. I don't know if it's real or not, but <laughs> I think it's real. You think so? You think I okay, I think there's a higher up. There's definitely a higher up. Like above the government, but I don't know what it is. Above the government? Yeah. Somebody control you like I don't think the pre- the president controls everything. Nah. Ain't no way one man control the world nah. and control the country. He got they got some shit. They got going. they has to be a, a, a council. Not and I'm not talking about the the House of Representatives, none nah, of them people nah, or senators, nah. nah. There's a there's it's, a, council. It's a council. So you think celebrities like some celebrities are a part of that shit? Nah, I think I think Or they're just like, I think that council it like branches off and like controls a lot of other things. Cause like like I said before, like if you control celebrities, you can control their in, who they could, influence. Their audience, yeah. Yeah, Everybody. to do whatever the hell you want. Most definitely. They can make like social norms. Yeah. And just create a whole environment and culture that you want. Yeah. And plus, I don't know. It's just like I feel like, and also I also feel that the government throws out random conspiracies, like fake conspiracies, so just it to drifts throw us off. Yeah, to throw us off, so we don't know what's real no more. Mm. Like. Maybe the Illuminati might be one of those, or freaking Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's not. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. I still believe in Bigfoot, though. I don't believe in Bigfoot. I think. All right, I believe there's something out there. I believe there is something out there. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. I don't think it's Bigfoot, but I think there could be one. I think there. There's a lot of. There's a lot of shit that we haven't seen, bro. I think that that's definitely out there. Like, Deep. there's probably like a. Shit, <sighs> three-headed motherfucking dog, dog type. Like shit. freaking from Harry Potter. Okay, I don't know about all that from Harry Potter. Nigga, not, the hellhound. Not, not, no, not no hellhound. Not no big ass. You feel <laughs> me? Like I feel like that. I don't know, but there's probably there's something out there. But all right, I got a question. Do you think not three-headed, two-headed, two-headed. a two-headed dog? Yeah. <laughs> all right, I got a question. Do you think that there's an, a creature out in this world that survived? Years um, ago, that no, yeah, like it survived. What's that called? Extinction. Mm-hmm. That people think it's extinct, but it's not. Do you mm-hmm. think there's one creature out there? Like, what would that creature be? If anything, it would either live in the ocean, yeah, or roam amongst the the woods. And mm-hmm. you know, one that I think you ever heard of the dire wolf? The dire wolf. Yeah, I feel like I heard that before, but it's I, like a huge wolf. Just a big ass wolf. Yes, a big ass like. Two three times the size of a regular wolf, like That's a huge, wolf, like there's... six foot tall, bro. Hold on, let me six sh- foot tall wolf. Not maybe, yeah, something like that. Hold on. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, I think I think uh, I think it's in the ocean, low key, because you know we 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 haven't explored the, like not enough the of the ocean at all, of the water at all. That's what I'm I saying. I feel like there's bro. some under there. There's I wouldn't be surprised. Big ass, them, some big ass shit. I think mermaids are real. You think? So? <laughs> yeah, man. That's just me. That's that's just me. I'm, I'm. Hey. But you don't think Bigfoot's my, real? My, my girl, my my girl, kind of, kind of, kind of made me believe. Okay. Well, like tell me. Are in that tell bitch. me what you. My nigga, it's not. It's not. Tell. It's not. To, I seen it on TikTok. Some shit that then niggas be sending me, bro. Like, what is that? If if it's not a mermaid, what is it? I don't know. Like it be it be like. Okay, you think you know how they say mermaids like they bring, they bring you yeah, bring you, you in me? and seduce you type of shit. not seduce you but like not seduce they you, freaking but kill they, you you feel me they like, like mind control you and then they kill you like they like they look at okay they look pretty or some shit like far away you mm-hmm. just come closer and they become like some ugly they they ugly type and then shit. they kill you and then they kill you I heard sometimes like shit all right. In Haiti or something like that, motherfuckers like bring jewelry type shit to 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 mermaids and shit. You know, just as nice offerings? stuff as offerings. You feel me? Mm. And you know, that's something I feel like they kill you. They bring you under the water, bro. There's some in the sea, bro, that we don't know about, bro. I've been trying, like I've been trying to say, bro, like people, we haven't, we just, we know about more of the outer space than, than we the, do the well, ocean, yeah, exactly. And that's crazy because the ocean's right there. Exactly. And we don't know what's in it. Yeah, why Come on, bro. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know what's in it, bro. They said there's a there might be an alien civilization underneath the ocean. I wouldn't be surprised because you can't go down that far to see what's what down there. Atlantis. 
There might be an Atlantis. Okay, Atlantis as in like a lost city or yeah, there's like an actual it's a lost city. city. Like it's a lost city type shit. Like there's still things living in there. Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. But there's something out there. There's bro. something down there in the ocean. I'm not going to find it. Oh, hell no. But, hell no, but, hell no, hell no. Y'all, y'all could do that, but... But look, man, let me, let me show you this shit. video, bro. I'm scared of water. Bro, this wolf is as big as a horse. Look. Just, just, just keep watching that over, bro. That's fake. No, bro. That's a real video. That's a wolf. That's fake. How is that fake, Fritz? Was that CGI? Yes. If y'all if y'all want to see the video, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put it right here, a little snippet of it, or whatever. You see how big that nah, shit is, bro. Look at the dog. Yeah, the dog is running away from it, bro. That thing is huge. Oh. That shit is huge, Ooh, bro. That make my skin crawl. Yes. Like Ooh. that, bro. That shit is crazy, right? Why the fuck is that that big? Don't I don't know, bro. But like, let, let me tell you another thing, bro. You ever? I know you watch Mr. Ballin, right? Yeah, Mr. Ballin. Mr. Shout out Mr. Ballin, Shout out Mr. Ballin my, bro. My, you you put me into on to a lot of stuff. Yeah, I fuck with. Y'all don't know Mr. Ballin, Ballin on YouTube talks about a lot of crazy like conspiracy, conspiracy stories, murders, murder stories, yeah. ghost stories, all that. Yes, sir. And he was talking about Skinwalker Ranch. You ever heard of Skinwalker Ranch? Skinwalker Ranch. Nah. Okay, so Skinwalker. So. Skinwalker Ranch is called that because the Native Americans put a curse on that land. Mm -hmm. The Skinwalker Curse. Okay. So basically, Skinwalkers are people that um, shapeshift into animals and sometimes people. But, like, you know how Native Americans, they wear, like, fur pelts of animals? Yeah. Like, they wear, like, like um, buffalo yeah. and stuff like that. But they don't wear pelts of predators. Like, they don't wear, like, wolf pelts or, like... Anything that kills something. Like, they don't do that because, like, that's a sign of evil. Mm -hmm. But skinwalkers, they do that and they shapeshift into, like, wolves. And they sometimes come across as giant either wolves or, like, human-esque things. So, basically, what Skinwalker Ranch is, it's a ranch out in Utah. And it was first bought out by this family for mad cheap. And they never understood why. They was like, oh, wow, this is an offering of a lifetime. Let me go buy it, right? So... Once they buy it, they start seeing, they start um, witnessing mad weird things. Like the first weird thing was um, a big wolf came, like a like a dire wolf. Yes, that that, that, that thing I just showed you, something like that came, and it wasn't like chasing after him. It was just like walking towards him like this, like just walking back and forth, just like you know, lollygagging. Mm -hmm. And then supposedly it walked up to the grandfather and just was like this, and the grandfather touched it. And was just petting it, and then just walked away. Like it just seemed like it was. It wasn't acting like a wolf. It was acting like a like a dog. Mm -hmm. So then it walked away, and then they have cattle on the farm, and like the little baby cattle was like sticking its head out the fence. The guy, the wolf, grabbed his head and was about to yank it off. And then the family went to go, like chase it off, and it ran back in the woods. And they couldn't find no more, right? So that was the first incident. Second incident was like they started feeling like what they noticed about the house was that it had mad locks on it, like. The front door had locks. The, even the windows had locks on it, right? Yeah. So they was like, why is everything so bolted down? So they, they was like, they didn't pay no mind. But then the wife started realizing there was a lot of weird stuff happening. Like she'll go into the kitchen and put the stuff in the uh, the refrigerator. And then she'll come back and everything is back in the bags. And she's like, wait, did I just put that back in there? And she started going crazy. No. And then there was one time that the they were sleeping and they heard... Like, they seen these black figures come up to the window, and they go like this. Like, look through the window, but you don't see no face. And they're just, like, they're just, like, um, knocking on the window, like, moving, like, moving their hand across it. And, like, that freaked the family out. And they think they're just, like, tripping. And they can't, they can't sleep. Like, the kids started doing bad in school. The mom is freaking, um, like, she got fired because she can't sleep. Because all this stuff is happening at nighttime, right? Wait, why are they still, like, there? Like because I would have been out. That's what, bro. These people. This is their life. See, these white people be bugging. If I see, if I see, first of all, if I see any of that, I'm out. All right, but keep going. Like that's not even the worst part, bro. Oh, there's more, bro. Right, after, crazy. like, after all this stuff, the father is like, yo, like, they, like he starts losing his livestock, like he starts losing his cows, and he doesn't know what's happening to him. Like he just sees them, like tracks going into the woods and a spot in the woods, and it just disappears. Like it looks like something like lifts them up or something Lift like that. Lift them up. It just like it just disappears. So he's like, "What's going on?" So he's like waiting outside with a rifle, 
And then he sees an orange orb in the woods and he like puts a scope on it and he see it looks like a portal and he sees like a little realm on the other side and then you just see like these humanoid things walking on all fours crawling out of it black nah, figures bro. crawling yo i swear bro look this shit up bro nah, skinwalker bro. ranch people if y'all like a lot of conspiracy people know about this but it's like crawling out bro and like after all this stuff is happening, they're like, nah, I can't, we can't deal with this stuff no more. Oh, now you want to leave? That's what I'm saying, bro. Motherfuckers, that's crazy, bro. They, they they had to take that for you to leave. First of all, wait, hold on. Did this There's family, way- like, did this family, like, did they talk, like, in interviews and talked about this shit or, like? I think they talked about it in interviews or they wrote it down because bef- when they sold the ranch to a billionaire who was into all that stuff, like aliens and stuff like that. And he made that ranch into a headquarters of for for all those for things? all those things so they can study it wow. and even more weird stuff it's still was happening? happening. I don't know if it's happening today, but it happened back then. Like the guy, what year was this? Uh, I think it was in the sixties. Oh, it was that far? Hold back. on, let me look it up real quick. Uh, oh, 1994 oh, and nineteen ninety six. Oh, that was close. Never mind. It was owned by Terry and Gwen <laughs> Sherman, and then. It's owned by Robert Bigelow now, who was the billionaire. the billionaire. Bro, like, let me tell you what else happened, bro. So, all this stuff is still happening, right? So, the guy, Terry, he lives on, he still lives on the farm because he wants to, like, be, like, the manager. Yeah. And the guy, Bigelow, he purposely, he hires, like, guys with PhDs, scientists that don't believe in this nonsense to, to, to like... To, to investigate it. To investigate it. To, yeah, research. So, yeah. So, like, they're on the farm and stuff like that. Not a lot is going on. And then recently... So they um, you know how they tag cows? Yeah, they put a little tag ears, on the ears. Yeah. yeah, so they was tagging the cows and stuff like that. They start tagging one cow. They go to the next one. They turn around. That cow was like dead. Already? Yo, dead. Ear cut off, and it looked like it had incisions on it. Wait. Like something like took all its organs out. Like that's been happening a lot on this farm too. Like cows would be found like with no organs on their body, but it's not like something killed it it's like something was just performing surgery, surgery on it on, yeah, and like they had it. certain incisions on like they called the vet and it was like yo did y'all perform surgery on this guy he was like no he's like this thing has incisions on it like somebody cut it open and sewed it back up or like somehow closed everything but he has no organs or nothing in his body and it was like huh and then it was like yeah and then they had bulls like you know prize bulls yeah so there was in there was four of them in a kennel locked up and then the guy, Terry, goes back to go look at him, and they're all gone. He's like, what the hell just happened? And, like, the bulls are, like, freaking, like, the cage is still locked. Bulls is gone. So he's like, yo, where are these bulls at? And then next to it is, like, a little um shack, a little small hut and shack. And he looks into the window. It's like the shack is all locked up and stuff like that because nobody goes in there. It's like a little storage. Mm-hmm. He looks inside. He sees the four bulls just in a trance like this. Just and then chilling. just chilling, not moving at all. And then he knocks on the glass and then they just start freaking out. And he's like, because those bulls, it's hard to fit one in there. There was four in there. And they're like, and the door is still locked. Like nobody oh, touched it. There was still this bro, is crazy. Bro, there was still <laughs> there was still cobwebs on it because nobody touched it. Nah, this nigga scared me. Bro, so there was Yo, like Pete. there was like, how in the world are the bulls in there? And they just like they had to get him out. They was like, there's no way. We could put them in there that fast. And plus, the cobwebs are still on the doors. It's like they were Nothing. teleported in there. Yeah, okay, okay. But so one more thing, okay. bro. Then, you know what I talk about the orange orb, right? Yeah. So the orb came back. And like the this is what the researchers saw now. So they're on the mountain ridge on the top. And they see the orb. And they like use their binoculars. They see it. And they see things. a thing come out. Like the thing's coming out. And it runs up the mountain towards them. And like they hid behind a wall, behind like a tree and bushes, and they just seen it run past them. It was like 20, 30 feet right next to them, just ran right up the mountain. Like these things look like demons, bro, just crawling out the holes and just they just scurry around the the land and just run away. It's like something is bringing them here, and freaking like, like a portal. It's like a portal from another realm, bro. And what I heard was like those things be mimicking like people. Humans. Yeah, like like if you ever hear. Like somebody yelling for help in the woods, don't go. Oh, yeah. So they be mic- mimicking like people's voices and, then and they kill like you, that. bro. Supposedly, I don't know if that's skinwalkers, but something like that does that. And like they say, they they like help, help or screams in the woods. 
and like like you I'm ever not s- going. First of all, you're not gonna see me in the woods. That's okay. This nigga dares really asked me to go hiking before. Hiking's <laughs> fun. Nigga's crazy. If Hiking's I hear fun. help, help, I'm out of here. Anyways, keep going, bro. Like, look up videos on TikTok, bro. They have like look up uh skinwalker videos. Like you hear, it's like they're like mimicking human noises, and it's like they mimic the last thing they killed. Yeah. It's just That's scary, crazy. bro. You said it's in Utah? Mm-hmm. Oh, and then there was like crazy. another orb. It's like a blue one. They see it and it just gives you anxiety as soon as you see it. Like you just feel mad anxious. Is it? Is it like a levitating orb? Like, mm-hmm. like, it, like it it's levitates? in the air. But like that orange one, it's like it's like it's sending its things out into our world. Like, like bro, I, I was talking about this with Tyrone. Okay, okay. But, but why do you think those so-called like demons that come from the orbs and shit why mm-hmm. do you think they live in the woods why don't you think like they they come out like you know like in the, into the city or like you know you know they obviously could whoop our ass that's you true the niggas could whoop our ass at any moment mm-hmm. why do you think they're they're living amongst us you know like, like why you think it's just in the woods and not yeah. in the city oh that's a good question i exactly. honestly that's a good question. They could whoop our ass. They could. Yeah, have you have you watched um, what a alien movie? Not even an alien movie. It's uh called uh si- Quiet Place. Yeah. What if them niggas like the Quiet Place? I don't know. Maybe they're just maybe they just bring them to our world just to live here, and they're not trying to take over. Cause I feel so like why the fuck are you here? I don't know, bro. Like curiosity, bro. Maybe they're just trying to get the fuck out. Maybe they're just bring them in and just like. What's it called? Uh, just bring them in and just like saving up for like a big one. Ooh, like the monster, like the big, the big one. Yeah, because honestly, if aliens came down, it's over for us. No, we're dead. Like, like these movies be making us think we could survive. No, it's it's deed, bro. We're dying. Like it's it's honestly over for us. Yeah, I'm out. Like, I'm not going to war. I'm not fighting no nah, alien. Right, take me. Yeah, I'll be part of y'all. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a traitor. I don't care. I'll be a traitor. I'll tell you everything <laughs> Yo, I know. Y'all out of here, bro. I Donald swear. Trump called y'all. Yeah, I don't know everything, do bro. Shit, I ain't doing bro. nothing, bro. Y'all, I'm on your side. Facts. On everything, bro. Facts. Gonna, I'm on y'all side. You're not going to see me fighting them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. <laughs> they got it. They got everything, bro. I'm cool. I'm cool off that, bro. But, like, yeah. I feel like in the woods, they just go into the woods because, like, I feel like in the world is too hot. I feel like aliens in general, the aliens, there's, they said there's a, like a couple of alien species that live amongst us. I feel like they just live amongst us to like corral us just to make sure we don't do nothing stupid. We do something stupid every day though. I know, but like not like nuke ourselves and kill mm. us off. Like I feel like they're guiding us. If there is a higher up, there it's them. And they're just making sure we don't destroy the world that they live on too. Okay. Because, like, think about this, bro. You ever heard of the zoo theory? I talked about this with Tyrone. <clears throat> the zoo theory? Yeah, you know what that is? So, you know what a zoo is, right? Yeah, everybody knows what a zoo is. Yeah, nigga. So, <laughs> the fuck? so like, you know when, a, when an animal is in the zoo, they don't really know they're in the zoo? Like, they think yeah, they're they back think, home. Okay, then I know where so, you're like, getting at. So, like, we are those animals, and this is our home, but there's people watching Watch, us. Yeah, just, and you don't, we don't know that. We don't know that they're watching us. Yeah, yeah, I got I, like, I understand. Like, it might be know. those people, and they're just... Ooh. And they might just be like... We're in the Matrix. Hey, bro. We're in assimilation. I was just about to get to that. I was, but... Oh, shit. But look, look. Is like this for real, bro? Hold on. Let me... Nah. It's like... You got me thinking. It's like, with the zoo theory, it's like they're... Like, you know, when we put animals in the zoo, we're trying to make sure they keep the population up yeah. and make sure, like, they don't go instinct, extinct. Mm-hmm. Like, what if, like, that's what the aliens are doing to us and we don't even know about it? Like, we're just in, like, this this world is just, like, their way of just making sure we don't kill ourselves. And we're, they're just continuously, wa- continuously watching us, like, reproduce, watching us reproduce, make sure we don't do nothing stupid. Like, oh, let me drop a little bit of disease in there. How are they going to react to it? Like, freaking Maze Runner. Oh, shit. And then they're just like, oh... They're dying too quickly. All right, cure. Oh shit! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, bro. Nah, this is crazy. They just trying to they testing stuff on us. Like, I don't that's know. Crazy. It's weird, bro. Damn, that's crazy. But with the with the matrix and the simulation, I was talking about that with Tyrone too. I be like, I, before we get into that, do you think there's any movies in this world, like any movies that like portray that they say it's fake but it's really real life? 
Like I feel like movies have a lot of messages, send a lot of messages to us that we don't mm-hmm. know about. Mm. Not a really a movie watcher, but I was thinking like The Matrix. The Matrix probably could be real. Like yeah, could be like, like we're, what we're really we're is all going in on in a dream type of shit. Like we're on in a, in a like this is not real right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, bro. I think we're I don't know, bro. This is it's crazy shit. I was thinking that and like Lucy. You ever watched Lucy or heard of Lucy? Isn't she? Yeah, you told me about like she she Unlocked. was able to unlock a hundred percent of the rain and she yeah. got superpowers and shit. I feel like somebody in this world has that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that after. So, like with the Matrix and things like that, right? With the simulations, and I talked about this with my. I think I talked about this in my other podcast about the simulation, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and there was supposedly a lady that went to a convention that she works for the government and went to a convention in L.A. And I guess she figured out, like, she found out that we live in a simulation. I forgot. I I don't know. I guess. I think she either works for the, she either works for the government or, like, a computer, some high up group. Okay. And she went to a convention and she was like, oh, we live in a simulation. She told her mom and parents, she was like, if y'all, like, if y'all find me dead, just know, like I said, like, we live in a simulation. And then they find her dead, like, two days later. Oh, shit. I don't know. We live in this. I don't, yo. A simulation. You think we live in a simulation? I low key think we do. I really don't think like 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 why do you think we live in a simulation? This is really real. Like this is real. This is all that there is to it. I feel like there's something. There's something more. More. That like, we don't what, know what about. more you want? What more do I? want? I don't want more. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like there's something more. I think I'm good. I feel like, but I feel like there's more, bro. I feel like a sim the simulation theory is like another another thing the government throws at us. Like here's Need a to throw us off again. Mm-hmm. Cause like you we like just imagine they just keep throwing conspiracies out there and we never know what the hell is talking like the CIA just throws random shit. But how you know it? Is it them or is it us? Exactly, like that we might be working for them. We don't know. They're, people just be making up stuff. There's so much conspiracies in the world that if you keep believing them, you're just gonna keep falling down in a hole. Like that's why I can't believe in all this shit I I read because I read a lot of con- con- conspiracies yeah. and I can't believe everything I read because yeah. I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah. Like you ever watch the Inside Job on Netflix? The inside job, no. Yo, yo, it's a it's a good show. It's like it's like a Adult Swim version, and then they talk about conspiracies, all about conspiracies. Really? Yeah, it's fire. I just finished with, finished season one. That's just tough. That's shit. You might have put me on. I might, but, I might go check. I like conspiracies. So. Like another conspir like the thing that goes that ties in with the simulation thing is uh, they say history repeats itself continuously. I mean, I think I forgot what I said this one, but they said like. Every hundred years, we have a pandemic. You ever heard about that? No. Like, every 20, like, 2020, 1920. Like, 1920s was the Spanish flu. 1820s was the... I don't think... I don't know. I don't think it was the... Hold on. Let me see. The plague was in 1720 to 1722. Uh, Cholera was 1817. Spanish flu was 1918 to 1919. Coronavirus, 2019 and 2020. Every 20 years. Every 100 years. 100 years, I mean. I'm so, I'm off a year. so the plague happened in 1720. Cholera happened in 18, the 1817. I feel like, I feel, see, the thing about um conspiracies too, conspiracies too, when something is coincidental, people turn it into exper- mm-hmm. uh, conspiracy. That's what. That's really what people tend to do. Like they, people be bored, yo. They be bored and, and they, high. Be, they be yeah, exactly. And they be like, they they tap into another level of, I guess, consciousness or whatever, whatever, whatever mm-hmm. it is. They they're like, oh, damn, it's they coincidental. Make, yeah, like most of the time, like like the Simpsons. Exactly. The nah, but Simpsons, okay, Simpsons, it's Simpsons crazy. OD. Simpsons it's OD. Crazy. Like you know, like you know, they predicted all of 2021. I know. Did you like see what they predicted? What they what they predicted? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, wasn't it about Donald Trump and shit like nah, that? Nah, even more, Wait, bro. I heard that Donald Trump was supposed to die not too long ago, bro. He, he, I haven't heard from him. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> cricket, 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 cricket. Holy shit! <laughs> Anyways, what? they said like the invading of the Capitol. Oh yeah, I seen that. I seen that too. Uh, I seen that too. The when Kamala Harris went to office. Oh no, I didn't know her. Like, uh, what's her name? What's her name from The Simpsons? The girl. Uh, the 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 older one. The the sister, the Bart's s- sister. What's her name? Um, shit. 
Lisa. Lisa, yeah. She was dressed just like Kamala, Kamala Harris. For exactly. Real? Down to the pearls on her neck. Wow. And she was sitting in the office. That was scary. I was like, whoa. See, that's the thing, but <clears throat> I don't know what the Simpsons got going on. I don't either. But I, them niggas is really spot on when it comes to this shit. I don't think their shit's coincidence. I'm going to be honest. Like, like they, they really got some shit going on in there. Oh, but back <laughs> on the Lucy thing. Like, the, the movie Lucy... Like with the like, do you yeah. think like what if there's somebody in this world that, that uh, locked? Tapped in? Yeah, but he's just in hiding. I don't know. Maybe he's the guy that made The Simpsons. Wow. And he unlocked fifty yeah. percent of his brain because yeah. she Loki did everything. She unlocked a hundred percent, and she was basically. I think she became like matter, like the world. Really? <laughs> I think she just became like the world, like disintegrated. Yeah, what if he is in hiding for real? Like, I wouldn't want to tell people that I unlocked fifty percent of my brain, because that's a superpower. That is a superpower. Like, cause you can make so many superpowers out of that, but like, like she was able to move things with her mind. She was able to stop time. Like, you, like you can, you never know what you could do. We only use ten percent of our brain, supposedly told us by the yeah. government. We use ten percent of our brain. Yeah, that could also be a lie. That I can. don't know. It can. I'm just gonna go with the you know what I'm but saying. But the thing is, I'm I, right I, don't brain know, I don't know. Heavy. If, I don't know if you, I don't know if you're gonna get gain superpowers uh, if you unlock more than. Mm. I mean, shit. I, I do don't you, know. Do you think? All right, I have another question for you <laughs> that correlates with this. Do you think that with with um time and like what's that called practice and things like that, people could gain like superpowers like either physically or mentally. With time and practice? Like, cause say, like, the people that, the bodybuilders that lift mad weights, like a thousand pounds, that's Loki a superpower. They they They're got super strength. Shit, yeah. yeah. Freaking, if you train your mind very well, you could, um like, remember stuff. I feel like the mind is, yeah, it's the most powerful thing. Yeah. So it's like, so it's like, I feel like. Like yeah. monks? Yeah, monks. I, yeah. They have superpowers. They don't like, feel pain. Yo, that's a fact. Because I seen, um not too long ago, that a monk just standing there meditating and shit was he and levitating no oh no no, no. You, well i seen i seen some med, uh, some levitation too but i don't know if that's real but anyways <laughs> he's meditating and shit he set himself on fire he's on fire what just just chilling over there just like this like he could withstand pain bro yeah i feel like it's the mind bro the mind if you if you that's like what i'm saying I guess bro. if you don't focus on it you don't then it's like not really there. You know, and you know meditation mm-hmm. is really a form of you know medita- not thinking about not stuff. think about stuff just just relaxing your mind and training your mind and stuff like that so i feel like i feel like they do a lot of those like them so does that day. count as a superpower low key you might yes. so like if you train your brain like consistently and like i feel like the stuff that they give us like food wise like messes us up yes, yeah yeah so like yeah. if you like like monks go into the mountains and just be alone, isolated, and yeah. just practice on yourself. Exactly. I think you can unlock things that you never think you could unlock. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like that's crazy. Like you know, people that could like swim in like below degrees temperatures mm-hmm. and just be in there. Yep. That's one. Freaking like, holding your breath on those people that be underneath the ocean walking for like twenty minutes. Yeah, bro. Like free diving. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. Free. I don't think nobody going to fly, but no. No, like no, that's that's a stretch. I don't think I anybody bet. in this bitch flying. But yo. what if there's a pot, uh, somebody like for real levitating for real? Oh no, no, I think maybe one of these monks, you low think key, so? yeah, on the low, lowest of keys. Damn, bro. Like there, there might be like stories. They probably, like they probably just like levitated a few feet in the air, just, for a few few inches. Like that's some, some crazy shit. So, yeah, and they they don't do they don't talk to nobody. That's what I'm saying. They they really isolate themselves. Just and focus on focus themselves, on themselves bro. and the mind. Exactly. They probably unlock hella shit, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Superpowers are real, bro. Who knows, bro? There might be a neighborhood Spider Man running around Get New York City, bro. Out of here, yo. <laughs> not in New York, bro. Hey, he in Brooklyn with somewhere him. in the mountains, bro. It's not neighborhood Spider Man. Yeah, there ain't no, there ain't no, no. It, there's nobody like that over here, bro. <laughs> nobody. You ready? People be too well. What's up? That's true. That's true. You ready for that new Spider Man movie? Yo, that shit look heat. That shit looks fire, bro. I see. I I I, I was waiting for Tobey Maguire. You feel me? I know in the trailer, I didn't see him. But I heard. But I heard he was on the set. He has. To, I think they're all on it. Yeah, Andrew Garfield too. Mm-hmm. But if I see he my boy Toby, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't Andrew fuck with Garfield Andrew. Garfield was ass. I ain't fuck with Andrew. Like, I ain't fuck with Andrew, but I'm not going to lie. Toby, bro, if I see my boy Toby, I'm crying, bro. You crying on sight? On sight. <laughs> You're like, yo, that's crazy. That's my childhood, bro. It really I is, had, bro. I had the fucking, um, I had the tape and everything, bro. Mm, you know, me Spider-Man too. One, I did. Bro, I did too. That nigga was... He was the goat. He was the goat. I love that Spider Man. I ain't gonna I lie. I loved it. I used to watch it all the time. Which one was your favorite Spider Man? The first one. The first one. Yeah. You like that? The that first one was, was the fire. best one, bro. Bro, when he found out he had powers and he was climbing up the wall Yo, that shit was in lit. school, that just was fire, bro. Come on, bro. That was old. And Green and Green Goblin on that on. Mm-hmm. Just, I forgot what the actor's name is, but that nigga is tough too, bro. Exactly. And I heard like this Spider Man. I think he's trying to save the. He's trying to save. Yeah, because they found out. He's Spider Man and shit, and they're trying and he to went to Doctor Strange, trying to you know change everything, make him forget or whatever. Yeah, but that causes you know MJ to forget and everybody else mm-hmm. to forget. I think, and he's trying to save like I think there's other Spider Mans that from the other universe that's trying to that's kill trying the... to, Yeah, it's you know so... Doc Ock is there. But yeah, first of all, Doctor Octopus from wait, which Spider Man was that? Spider Man two, two? No, yeah, two. It has to be two, either two or three. Nah, three Doc, was Sandman. Doc, Doc, yeah, Sandman. What, what? What? Was that the first one? I think it's two. It says two on here. Spider-Man oh, it's versus three. Doc. It was three to Venom one. I think three is the Venom one. Three might be the Venom one. And then yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we're getting we're getting that mixed up. Yeah. You but, think Venom's gonna be in this Spider Man, the new Spider Man? Like this just one? pop its head in there, pop his head in there. I think they're gonna get its own separate movie. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be. In I did. Home. Did you see Venom too? I heard there was, I heard a, there was a. I heard there's. Uh, a, it was fire, and there's a little um teaser. Teaser. Uh, yeah, I, I have yet to see it, but yeah. But time for the the good part of the show, which yes, you never will. really got to experience because you one of the OGs. I'm bro. one of the OGs. Remember episode two. I got a question for you, my brother. What, what do you think is the worst time period to be in? Like. Like throughout history, what's the worst time period to be alive in? I think it's the medieval times. Like, yeah. cause low key, like you could die from anything. Like if you, like I heard, if you break your leg, you're dead. Like a yeah, broken because, bone. Yeah, like you're they dead. have no medicine when it comes when it comes to even if you got like shit a cold, you're dead. You're done. You're dead. You're done. <laughs> you get, like, like you might, yeah, you're I got a cut on my finger, and they had so many, so many dumb solutions. <laughs> like so many dumb like medical solutions to where like it's it probably made you worse exactly or just so it just like yeah it was I swear yeah. they were so dumb back yeah, then yeah it was stupid like the medieval like, times were scary bro yeah, the niggas who were doctors yeah it was stupid it was just hard. like I was just free either there or the freaking uh what's that back in when I think it's like thirteen hundred where the kingdoms and shit was there where everybody tried to kill the king. Mm. Uh, like that's ter- like that's terrible times, bro. Yeah, those, those are, yeah I'm so glad I <laughs> like I be hating I be hating the two twenty like this time, but like I live in a I'm living a good life yeah, right now. I'm living pretty decent, bro. Like just imagine I, we live back then. Just imagine it's like fifteen, sixteen hundreds. Yeah. First of all, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, facts. Ima- shit, imagine if you were female and you're like living in the during the Salem witch trials, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. A nigga, a random nigga could be like, yo, she a witch. <laughs> <laughs> you done. <laughs> he got, he got, he <laughs> yo, just a bad, bro, <laughs> just a bad, yo, yo, just bro, a bad, got- <laughs> just a bad, you cut, cuz get cheated on. <laughs> He find his wife sleeping with the sleep with the neighbor. He goes to the <laughs> he goes. I feel, I feel like I think adultery also was 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 yes, was death, bro. Was death? I think too. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Like you die for anything. Like imagine yo, you anything. see your wife get you getting uh your wife uh fucking the neighbor or some shit like that. You be like, she's a witch. She's a witch. <laughs> you done. <laughs> you got you got any you got any um Set. evidence about it? No, nah. nah, she a witch. She a witch. <laughs> I, bro, you be like, I swear to God, I, I see her fly, bro. I see, her, <laughs> I see her cast a spell, bro. It's, it's, bro, nah, and done. they used to kill her, Yo, kill they, them crazy. They, they, them, they didn't. They set they them on give, fire. Bro, they didn't give a fuck. They drowned them. They didn't care. They like it's crazy. Fem- Yo, females. I feel bad for every female who who lived throughout that time period because y'all they have no say so <laughs> y'all, y'all had no say so in anything. They just believed. They it. just believed that there was a, like. 
Okay. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She got it. She like, got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, bro. No, no, I think that was a down moment in in, 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 in yeah. the life. Yeah, bro. Because that was so nigga, stupid. If I, would have fe- if I was a female and I'm like, and, and nigga, nigga calling me a witch, I'm like, yo, dead ass, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm a witch, bro. <laughs> like, that must be crazy. Why like, imagine being like, 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 no funny, like, no no crazy shit. Like, imagine being a slave just watching that shit. Be like, oh, bro. Like, look, at him, look at these dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, 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 nah, but imagine us though as slaves, bro. Huh? Imagine us as slaves. I'm bro. a I'm a house nigga, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a house nigga. <laughs> they gonna have me in the crib. <laughs> nigga, you, you gonna have some new pants, bro? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a good slave, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They gonna love me. Bro, they gonna love you. You gonna kiss ass, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna get bro. whipped. Nah, that's These crazy. people was cra- yo, crazy. Do you, do, you, do you watch Lou Ratchet? Nah, what's that? <laughs> Lou Ratchet, he's a he's a comedian, bro. He's a comedian. <laughs> but he's like how how it was to be like a slave, a good slave, or back then a house slave, something back then. Yeah. Bro, that nigga's like <laughs> I pat, I polished Massa's gun, bro. <laughs> Massa gave me these new pants, bro. These new shoes. Like, I eat, I eat in the table. I'm like, bro, this is too funny, bro. <laughs> that's dangerous, bro. Bro, that's Massa. me, bro. I'm good. Like, yo, like I'm telling on everybody. Like these people be trying to go against them, like try to fight them. Like, nah, bro, I'm good. Oh, but I feel like even if you're a good slave, bro, it's like they're still gonna. Oh, they're still gonna, gonna hit me. Yeah, they're still gonna hit. Like I'm, I'm obviously gonna get hit a couple of times. I'm, I'm gonna start going to, against. Over my boundaries, <laughs> like, like I'm gonna I'm think I could do a lot of like crazy shit. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's gonna be in the house eating on the table. <laughs> what you doing, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget to wake up early. <laughs> And then they got, I'm be sleeping in, be like, why the fuck you sleep before? Get your ass up. You're gonna have good, good, good um, <laughs> privileges and shit. Fuck out of here, I'm gonna bro. take a bed. Be outside with I'm gonna start of bringing us. my outside niggas inside. Nah, <laughs> this nigga gonna be the most popular slave, bro. I don't know. That'd be that. crazy. That's funny as hell, bro. I can't imagine <laughs> me being a slave, bro. Because. Man, but I might, I might go, bel- I might go crazy in that bitch, bro. Like, how, wait, how do they buy they, they freedom? Do you have to buy it, or do you just have to ask? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, yo, do you gotta raise you gotta, enough money? Yo, low key. I know, I know. There's yo, this is crazy. Shit, um, what's his name? Frederick Douglass. Yeah. I think that that's he. He was a slave. I think. I think he bought out his freedom. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna raise good money. But you know, it's like, nigga, you got paid. How much? I know it took a while. <laughs> it's gonna take years. <laughs> I don't even know if Frederick Douglass was a slave, but I'm just talking <laughs> out my ass. But it's like, but it's like, damn, it's, gonna take years. it's gonna take years, nigga. Are you dead ass, bro? You get paid cents. <laughs> you pay me good. Nah, but I feel like I feel like like in history, there's like slaves that was like, you know what? I had a good life. Yeah, yeah. Like I they, think so. I think there's a couple of slaves. That no, was like, I think low key. I think low key, yeah. So when slave, when slavery was like ended and shit like that, yeah, there were slaves that went back. <laughs> you feel me? Because they fucked with that shit. Like they, they're like they're like, what do I do now? <laughs> you know, that's all that I know. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> it's like I had shelter, I had shit, this that. I, I got whipped a little. Uh, I got yeah. whipped a little, but you know. <laughs> shit, I had everything, but you know, slavery. You know, they were poor and shit. They yeah. they, they couldn't get no jobs. So it's that's like, true. That's true. So it's like they they wanted to go back. I mean, man, bro, I is it, what a what a time to be what alive. What a time, bro. What a time like, to be nigga, alive. Niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas is like we're we're complaining about shit now. Imagine I know, back if we in, were back then, bro. Back in the days, bro. <laughs> Not even back in the days. Like freaking 20, 30 years ago, we'd be complaining about where the answers at. We exactly imagine we had to look for the answers in a book. Exactly, Deed. bro. Exactly, Deed. nigga. We don't read. Niggas don't read nowadays. That's a fact. I haven't. I don't remember the last time I've been to a library that's like. Like not we, not in not in like my school library. Yeah, you like a random library. Not, not people some, just go to the library. Nigga, I live next to a library. Like who be pulling up I'm to the library? Over there. Ain't huh? nobody go to the library. Not even gonna lie to you. That's no, crazy. I, I haven't went to the library since shit, high school. 
Like, like if I see a grown like, man in the library as a librarian, I'm gonna think he's a he's a creep. Yeah. Like a like a pedophile. What are, you, what are you doing here? Like there's no reason for you to be in here. What are you doing here? Like like come oh, on. Like, why? What are you reading? Like you can get you can get auto books. Exactly. You can get bro. it ordered to yeah, you, bro. Buy, like go to you your crib. Book, bro. Like, maybe I think you're a little homeless. I don't know. Yeah, maybe and you want some place to stay. You feel <laughs> me? But but come on, bro. What are like you doing, bro? But oh, I got another one, right? So would you? All right. So say you get you get kidnapped. By the Mexican cartel, right? Shit. So you you have two options, or they're gonna kill you. Two things to do: you have to smuggle drugs from Mexico to New York City, in a car in a truck, mm-hmm. or you have to get like flea bands, get the guys, and you have to rob a bank in Mexico. Oh, I'm getting flea bands and robbing <laughs> a bank, bro. Nah, that sounds lit. <laughs> what do you mean that sounds lit? You, what? Okay, okay. You're smuggling drugs? I'm not, okay. It, like, which one From do you... New York to where? No, Mexico, From New York. Mexico. But on, like, bro. okay, let me think about it. Let me think about it. It depends bro, how I'm big... I'm getting the- flea bins and robbing a bank, bro. <laughs> that shit might be fun, yo. <laughs> like, it's not It's not like... It's, nah, that shit might be fun. I swear <laughs> to God, that shit bro, might be Bro, but fun. if you fail, bro, like, you gotta be... Yeah, you're done. Like, it's over. Like, you're going to prison. But we're all Mexican going to prison, prison together. We're not going... We might not go to the same prison... The head guy might go to like the worst prison. Y'all might just go to jail, but I think I would I would rob a bank because smuggling drugs is low key. It's hard. It's hard. That's a hard ass job. That's hard. That's a hard job. From Mexico, you know, you know they be on your ass when you cross that border, right? Exactly. How you gonna get that, bro? That's what I'm saying. So that's honestly difficult. And it's only it's you. Like it's it's like. But for the drugs thing, you will get money if you make it there. You get money if you rob a bank. That's what I'm saying. But like, shit. you get more money. It depends. Like, it's a Mexican bank. I don't think there's a lot of shit in there. But I feel like we. Oh, could... you said it's a Mex. Oh yeah, we're. Yeah, oh, we're, yeah Mexico. we're Mexico. I feel like no. Nah, I feel like fleet bands. I feel like we could rob a bank. I think we can. Like, who's the mastermind? Is it gonna be me? Am mm. I? Am I gonna be like the professor, like from Will Money you, Heist? Bro? That's a lot Low of. Key. I think it has to be me. Either me or Chris. Wait, so you're not gonna be there with us in the field? No, nah, I'm gonna be in the field, but like. But you're gonna. Really... I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to lead it. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm at the lead okay, the robbery, so, so it's me. Or I'm gonna be the getaway driver. Nigga, you trying to get let off easy? <laughs> I'm trying nah, to get the, get the lowest the sentence. Out of here. Nah, bro. Nah, you gotta do you, all the work on dip. You could carry a gun, bro. But I, I have a good job though. I gotta make sure we get out. Okay, okay. So it's gonna be me, you, Ish, Jordan, Ish. UJ, oh, Chris. <laughs> okay, is that Jordan? Yeah, no, we're done. <laughs> Jordan okay, Jordan is un- Jordan Ish is unpredictable. Yo, so they can. I, yo, I don't know. They have to. They mean. have to be good with the toolies. Yeah. UJ, UJ is good under pressure. Chris is good under pressure. Jakai, Jakai is good. <laughs> Jakai. What is Jakai gonna do, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Did just think of Jakai go have us all killed, bro? <laughs> He's gonna go to accidentally pull the trigger, bro. Like <laughs> he accidentally gonna accidentally shoot somebody. Shoot somebody, bro. Jason has military. Uh, oh, background, so he, he's he's what a about good Bash, Bash, Bash too, background too, and Bash got the Irvington in him. Yeah, so he already got that. Yeah, I think we, I think we'd be straight. I don't know what I'm. Right, what, I'm if what if we all smoke? What if we all? Nah, you helping, bro? Like you probably gonna no, be the, nah, yeah, you putting yeah, the yeah, money I'm, in the bag. I'm put, I'm, I'm having a toolie on me, bro. All right. on everything. I'll be the honestly, driver, honestly so. though, it went me though. <clears throat> if the police catch us, bro, I'd rather die. Oh, like you going out like taker, like yeah. takers, bro. Yeah, I'm not really bro. Like, <laughs> like Chris I, Brown not, and I'm, Michael Ely. Yeah, I'm, I don't feel like I, I want to spend my right left rest of my life in jail, bro. Mm. It's not his case. I'm I especially that. Mexican like, prison is pretty bad. Exact. That's horrible. I heard this really so, bad. So I'm shooting a cop, bro. Oh, they, they gonna shoot me, bro. Oh. I don't give a fuck, oh. y'all, y'all could go to prison. I'm I'm out of here. Hey, y'all, yo. y'all got it, bro. He said, y'all can come and shoot a cop. I'm dead ass, bro. There's no way I'm going to prison for the rest of my life like that. In a Mexican prison, bro. That's facts. And I'm American, bro. That's facts. No. Hell no, bro. I'm out of here. Kill me. So we we robbing a bank instead of smuggling? What if we smuggle? Like, what if we all could smuggle the drugs? Like, figure out a way to bring it to New York City. It only got to be a truck. Like, boat. If we all find a way. And we get a million dollars? If we get a million dollars, then I'll do that. I'll do that. That's Most definitely. Because we don't, because we won't have to kill anybody or like, you know, you know, if we, if we get past the border, bro, that'd be lit. Like, mm-hmm. like, nah. Yeah. But I heard it's hard as hell. They be really, really on that shit, bro. They do, bro. So that's going to be hard. But, dang. 
Flea bands, bro. If y'all hearing, we not right. We robbing a bank, yeah. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> but last, last one of the day, bro. Would you rather be in a plane crash, like a plane crashing, or in a submarine and the waters? I don't like water. In? Plane crash. Plane crash, right? Plane crash. Easy. Easy. Oh my god, that was that was a quick. That thing that was a record. Yeah, that was that was that was way too. I don't like water <laughs> at all, bro. You know the time I was drowning, my nigga. What? In Wildwood. What? Oh. Come on, son. <laughs> you know, bro. Let the people know. Yo, I was in Wildwood with, you know, pe- me and my people, bro. Was I was there, there, right? You you came there after. It was after you. It was at, it was at night, bro. Oh, yeah. It was you like remember? you and Chris. Yeah, I had scratches all. Me, Chris, Ivy, UJ. Okay, so what happened? And uh, Dimitri. We was playing taps in the water. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. You playing taps. Someone, you know, someone uh didn't catch the ball or whatever, didn't tap the ball back. <laughs> it was going, it went a little further. My dumb ass, you know, I'm thinking, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I could walk because I, I'm able to walk. Mm-hmm. So I could walk, I could walk further. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, hold on. It's getting a little deep. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? And uh, It was nighttime, guys. It was like it was, 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, it was, not, it we, was were, night. we were wilding. Yeah, it was night. I don't know what we were doing. We're bugging. So I'm just like, oh, whoa, hold on. I'm I'm not, my feet, like, I'm trying to find the ground. Yeah. Like, my feet's not touching the ground. So I'm like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> what is going on? But I'm still going closer. Yeah. I'm, I, I, so I you're wanna, like treading wanna, water at this yeah, point. Yeah, I want to get the ball. Yeah. <clears throat> I want. I'm getting the ball and shit like that. I, I got the ball. I'm trying to. I don't know if you know. Like, there's this thing that it it it's stuck on the ground. It's 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 like on the ground mm-hmm. and it makes it deeper than it should like it's like logs type shit it's like rocks and it's like i didn't logs. know what you're talking about i don't know i don't know if you yeah but i'm trying to hold on to it but it's slippery as water and shit mm-hmm. and you know my hands are just you know it's just sliding off so i'm just scratching my hands at this point <laughs> you feel me and i got the ball in my hand and shit like that uh, at some point, I let go of that shit because I'm like, <laughs> hold on, but I'm not. I'm floating right now. <laughs> hold on, I, I'm trying to. A wave motherfucking comes by, bro. Next thing you know, I'm under the water, bro. I'm like, bro, no way, bro. Am I going <laughs> to die like this, bro? And I see, I see Chris, Dimitri. These <clears throat> niggas is six foot. These niggas is six foot. Why is Chris coming towards me, bro? <laughs> and then once he seen me under the ground, under the you know under the water, he's like, "Whoop! Well, no, nah, I'm trying to save myself." <laughs> you dead ass? You dead ass? He said, he said, he said, he said, "I'm gonna help you, Fritz. I'm gonna help you." Nah, somebody save me! Somebody. Save me. <laughs> you dead ass? So I'm looking at the me- Ivy. Ivy almost drowned before. So yeah, no, scared. Ivy died there. <laughs> he's scared, so he's uh, he's just looking at me. He was just in a bag. Group. This nigga Ivy is like. <laughs> Like UJ don't know how to swim. This nigga UJ don't know how to swim. I'm looking at Dimitri, the next tallest guy. (laughs) Nigga, what are you guys doing over there? They got the ball. What are you guys doing over there? Like, help me, (laughs) nigga. I'm in the ground. Some, I'm, I'm I'm in the water. Something like this, like. (laughs) And I'm like, hold on, hold on. And then that shit coming towards me. I'm like, nah, there's no way. I look at UJ. I look at UJ. UJ finally coming towards me. He's like, yeah, coming, you know, closer Next to me. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to hang on to the log type shit, to the rock yeah, type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And that nigga, I hop on, pause. I hop on that nigga UJ back. <laughs> pause. Like, yeah, I told that nigga UJ, yo, go. <laughs> like, go. Like, why are you stopping, bro? Just go. Right? He's like, bro, I can't swim. Now nah, go. <laughs> go. And I'm just like, bro. I, ever since that day, Never want to go in the water. Oh, I can't go in the water, bro. Yeah. Well, I be going in the water. Yeah, yeah. Like I love water parks. Yeah. Right shit, but I, I mean, yeah, that's I fine. I can't swim. I can't. Sw- I know you wasn't with the guys that could swim like me, Ish and Jordan. Exactly. If I was with y'all, bro, y'all came after. 
and niggas telling niggas telling you you can't you know, that was a bad group you was that with. was a bad group that was a terrible nigga, group nigga, hey that's my luck bro that's I'm with tough the worst group ever bro that you can, got, can't help you got chris that can't take shit serious you got ivy that damn near has ptsd <laughs> you got you got dimitri why is dimitri there he's not helping for shit i don't know <laughs> i don't know if he can swim and uj can't swim but uj saved me i'm not gonna lie shout out uj bro <laughs> that nigga saved me bro that day low i key, thought i was gonna die yo low-key i thought i think i almost drowned one time i was with ish and jordan we was at the beach and like i forgot what was, what was going on but like <clears throat> suddenly like i couldn't touch the ground mm-hmm. like i went like you know when some parts of the the floor is just dips? deep yeah, yeah. Deep. that's what that's what happened to me really yeah it just it just it just dip it it's just uh dips because it's like it's like there was something that was oh mit pushing the stuff down. that was pushing it down like it was stuck it was nailed or not it's not nailed it's probably like a sea barrier or some shit like that something, i think it was called something but, it, but it, that part was just deeper than, than everything any, else. every bro everything that's else. what happened to me and it's like i know how to swim so i'm like i i went in there i'm like okay it's fine and i'm like jumping like you know when you jump up and down yeah. but then like i start getting tired and i'm i'm like laughing at ish and jordan Cause they're doing something stupid, so mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, when you laugh, you get more tired. Yeah. So like, I'm jumping and I'm starting getting tired. I'm like, wait, I'm I can't push myself up no more. So then I'm oh, like, shit. oh shit! I'm like, I I I didn't get a breath in. So I'm like, okay, I'm under the water. I was like low key panicking because I can't like breathe right now. And then I'm just swimming, and like all I knew is just to swim at just swim as much as I can to the freaking shore. And I'm just like the waves is hitting me. And then I get up, I'm like, <gasps> and then yeah. Jordan is looking at me and he's like, yo, you good, bro? I'm like, bro, I dead almost died. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so scared of water, bro. It's not even a joke. I can't I can't do the water shit no more, bro. I'd be like that, bro. I'm so scared. I got PTSD. I can't do that, bro. Hey, bro, they say Asian people can't swim. Darius, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I got to bring none of that shit up. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I'm scared of water and heights. I, I can't do heights neither, but... You know, it'd be like that, yeah. kids. Message of the day: If you can't swim, get out the get the fuck out the water, man. Get out the water, bro. bro I be seeing, I be see, be seeing, I be seeing kids just swimming all happily and shit. I be so jealous. I be like, damn. I mean, I you can I learn. Not, bro, I tried, bro. My girl tried to teach me, but I can't do it. I can't get the. It, it'd be it. like that. I'm not gonna lie, because my dad, and my mom went uh, took swimming lessons, and they got the certificate. But my dad, they, they told my dad specifically, it was like, I'm sorry, sir, but like you physically can't swim. Wait, why not? Because he he doesn't have buoyancy and like he just continues to sink. Oh, for real? Yeah, so like he can't like I saved my dad a couple times Damn, in the ocean. Damn, that's probably me. I'd be sinking too, mm-hmm. just straight like that. I and like don't got like buoyancy. I could swim and just stay afloat, but like I can't float no more. Yeah. But like him, he swims and like his legs start going down and just goes like she. Yo, me too. It's like bro. an anchor, so I don't Damn, know. Damn, that's probably me. Yeah. It's ass, bro. Hey man, it is what it is. Kids learn how to swim. I learned. I took swim lessons when I was like four or five. So I never took swimming lessons. I should have. You know what the first thing they do when you take swimming lessons? They throw you in the deep end. No, I'm not taking swimming lessons. Like they just they just throw your ass in. I was four or five. Shit. Just say jump. I'm like all right. I wasn't scared. I was. I, I don't know no better. And they they see how you react. And they I have to they teach you about that shit. You, bro. Hey, they. I remember like no no gay shit. Like the guy had like nipple piercing. So. Somehow I trusted that guy. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, <laughs> no you mooks. said that shit to my face, bro. I think that's a good way to end that. The nipple end piercings episode. really got you. Nah, nah. I was four. But thank y'all for tuning in to the 12th episode of my No Regus podcast. And if you're new, hmm. subscribe. <laughs> if you're new, subscribe. And um, comment down below. Turn on post notifications. All that. All that, man. And please, people... All y'all on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts coming soon, Google Podcasts coming soon. If you have anything, any conspiracies you find on TikTok, on Instagram, any topics you want us to talk about, any would you rather's that you come up that you just think of randomly, any anything you want us to talk about, just don't be afraid to DM me. Don't afraid. Don't be afraid to the comments because I read all my comments. I make sure. I uh, reply to everybody in the comments, so don't be afraid, because y'all have a big part in this, just like we do. That's a fact. And shout out to 11,000 of y'all on TikTok, bro. Man. I never would have thought this quickly, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We up. My, yes, sir. Me and my gangsters. Thank way. you again, last minute, my brother. We appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, you for having me. Of course. Always an honor. You no, know, no regular podcast, the best podcast in the world. You know what I'm you saying, know what bro? I'm saying? We building the... 
the dynasty, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We all going up, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a fact. Gangsters, man. <laughs> we different, they regular, no regs, man. Gangster. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. 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 I